going on guys? It's Corbin here from AcousticWorld.net and today I wanted to give you a bunch of tips on bringing your guitar on a plane safely. Um, I'm going to give you my best advice for this because I actually have a flight coming up tomorrow so it's kind of on my mind. It's a relevant uh, topic. I'm not going to be bringing my guitar but uh, I figured I would walk you through the best way to do so to make sure uh, your guitar gets on the other end of the trip safely so I won't waste any of your time and we'll jump right in. Uh, the first thing I'm going to recommend is checking your airline's instrument policy in advance. Uh, believe it or not that is a specific thing, an instrument policy, and every airline's uh, guidelines are different. Um, you can just find them by googling you know airline um, whatever the airline is, like Southwest Instrument Policy. And Southwest is a good example, actually, because they only take instruments on what they call a conditional basis, or at least that was their policy the last time I checked. So uh, you'll find some are really iffy, some are more clearly defined, but definitely check in advance and do your homework so you have a better idea of uh, what you're getting into. And the second thing I'm going to say is do whatever you can to store your guitar above deck. So basically, all the luggage and stuff and checked bags, those go on uh, the underside or undercarriage or uh, bottom uh, compartment or cabin. I don't know the technical name for it. But they basically below, go below the cabin where everyone is seated actually on the plane. Um, so what you want to do is carry on your guitar on the main level where everyone is seated. Um, so you can ask a flight attendant to take it. Um, you can get a travel guitar or just a really like ergonomical case and try and stow it uh, overhead in the compartment. Um, and going along with that, another tip I'll give you is trying to book your seat in advance or confirm it in advance so that you're either in the front or the back of the plane, uh, depending on which of those uh, board first for whatever airline you're flying. So uh, the idea there is to try to be like the first person on the plane. Uh, that way you can be that annoying guy who takes up <laughs> the entire uh, upper compartment with your guitar just like sitting in the overhead bin. Um, so that is uh, another group of tips for you guys. Um, the third thing I'm going to say, or fourth, whatever, um, is loosen your guitar strings, okay? Um, because just like your nose and your ears pop due to the pressure of the flight uh, changing throughout the flight uh, due to altitude and turbulence and all that stuff, um, your guitar too is going to be sensitive to those things and it's already got a ton of tension on the neck which is probably the most sensitive area from the strings pulling on it. So I would just detune your guitar. You don't have to de-string uh, de it completely but just loosen your strings, uh, go down like a couple of whole steps and uh, your guitar will thank you for it. So those are a couple of tips for you guys. If you want I wrote a full article on 10 tips uh, for flying with your guitar safely. Um, that'll give you everything you need to know just in one uh, full resource, like take you five minutes to read it. Um, so I'll link to that below if you want to check that out. But if this video was helpful, uh, just give me a like and a subscribe and I'll uh, be making more helpful videos like this every week. So I'll see you in the next one and I appreciate you watching. Thanks.